Storm Tracker 13, keeping you ahead of the storm. Uh, it is just a gorgeous evening out there. Temperature is still really mild, especially compared to what we've been seeing here for the past couple of evenings. Neighborhood Weather Network at 8th Street now, but showing 70 degrees still, and it is a little breezy. Winds at about 10 miles per hour. We can see the Neighborhood Weather Network uh, looking at these temperatures. Turkey Creek, 66 degrees. We're still in the 70s for Carvel as well as in Fowler right now. So these temperatures are looking really nice and mild this evening. And as far as our wind speeds go, there's a couple of places places that have breezier conditions, but most of us staying anywhere between 0 to 5 miles per hour, especially here along I-25, out over the plains, and even the mountain areas. So we're not looking at too many winds. We saw 8th Street Nabbit right around 10 miles per hour. So here's your satellite and radar throughout the day. Uh, this evening we did have a couple of these spotty showers here forming over the foothills just west of I-25 between Colorado Springs and Denver and in the downtown Denver area. But what we noticed, they'd moved off to the northeast, and what we're looking at now is a nice clear night for all of us from Denver all the way south through Trinidad here along I-25 and out over the eastern plains. Everything is looking nice and clear and that's the way it's going to remain through the rest of the evening. 54 degrees for your low in the springs will have 57 degrees for your low in Pueblo. So overall should remain a nice mild evening. So here's Futurecast by tomorrow morning. Still looking at those nice clear skies and we're going to continue to see the sunshine throughout the entire day. Taking you through noon, still not seeing any activity. By 4 o'clock we could have a couple of clouds here for near Trinidad and Walsenburg, but that's about it. Overall, it is going to be a really nice, calm day. Temperatures warmer than what we even saw today. 89 degrees for your high in the springs, 98 in Pueblo. As we take you along that lower Arkansas River Valley, some places could actually be in the 100s. Los Animas, Grenada, Holly could possibly touch 100 degrees tomorrow. For Pueblo County, looks like we'll stay in the 90s there. Downtown Pueblo, right around 98 degrees. In the low 90s for the foothills, will be in the 80s for West Cliff, right around 92 degrees in Texas Creek. Taking you up to El Paso County across northern El Paso County, temperatures in the mid to upper 80s, southern El Paso County and Hanover right around 94 degrees, and for Teller County, those temperatures staying in the 70s. So should be a nice day for our second full day of summer. Here's your seven-day forecast. Could hit the 90s on Tuesday in the springs. After that, we're looking at a chance for some isolated showers and storms on Wednesday. Looks like we'll drop our temperatures back down to the mid to upper 80s. In Pueblo, could hit 100 on Tuesday before dropping back off to the upper 90s for Wednesday, Thursday. Chance for some isolated storms right now for next weekend with those temperatures staying in the low to mid 90s. And for Teller County, look for those temperatures to possibly hit 80 degrees on Tuesday and then cooling back off to the mid to upper 70s for the rest of the week. So overall, it is going to be a pretty dry week. We do have that chance for a couple of storms on Wednesday and then again for next weekend. Of course, next weekend still a little far out. We'll continue to track them. All right, thanks, Stacia.